All you have to do is watch this video and your Safari troubles will be over. Okay, I found out after using Safari several times, you know, I'm a person who uses it on a normal basis and I was having problems trying to load, load certain websites. And um, basically, like, if I went to um, Safari and let's say I went to Google and I went to DirecTV now, and let's say I wanted to look at the packages. I don't know whatever, um, what content or what, what it is that it's supposed to load, but it would stop at this point. It wouldn't load any further than this. I would have to close, even if, like I would have to close out the website. I do have to do a, a dozen things. And even when I tried the whole steps over and over, it still wouldn't get past the same part. It's like very difficult. Um, I also found it on like other pages, like if I go to XDA and uh, Honor, Honor Hub and press Home, it would stop right here. You know, certain websites, whatever it contains in there to load, it, it just, whatever it is that it was very difficult to load. So, um... It would stay here like forever till tomorrow, the next day. It would not load, period. So after going through a thousand settings, well, not really a thousand settings, but playing, messing around with the settings a dozen times, I figured out how to fix this issue. And going forward, you would not encounter this problem ever again. So from here, um, I want to close out. Uh, see, I have Chrome browser because um, searching the same things with the Chrome browser, everything would work on the Chrome, but I'm not a Chrome user. I'm a Safari user, but everything that I would search on Safari works on Chrome. And I couldn't understand why I was having this issue when I love Safari. I never had no problems, no issues with Safari. So I had to download a whole nother browser in order to browse the things I wanted and I had everything saved under Safari that I need for quick and fast reliable searching but now I had to use Chrome and I couldn't it wasn't the same same effect so close out Chrome close out Safari and basically when you go to your settings you would go you would go down to uh, Safari. These are all your immediate Apple, um, yeah, applications. You go to Safari, and you know I tried to try turning off the search engine su suggestions, Safari suggestions. Like mind you, when I tried to browse the the answers, the these are what other people are coming up with, and none of this is working. None of these things are working, but now I know I can turn all this back on, have the settings, the full effect. Everything is working right after you change one simple feature, which is in the advanced settings and experimental features. That's where <laughs> experimental, <laughs> that's where the problem lies in experimental features. Okay. So you notice I have everything on because I don't know. I'm just that type of person. I want it, I want the full effect. But one of these is is a problem. And after cutting everything off and starting one by one, adding each one one by one, the problem is swap processes on navigation. Once you cut this off, you can leave everything on. But once you cut this off, your whole browsing experience in Safari changes. All the pages that you was having issues with load again. So you can close this out. You go to Safari and you can start back over at google.com. The same page, direct TV now that I was trying to load before. Direct TV Now packages. 
You see, it's, everything's loaded now. It comes right up. Even if that doesn't work, and the, the, the previous one, the, the XDA, Honor, Hub, and Home. Loading, no problem. Now, I can show you one more time. Go to Settings, Safari, Advanced, Experimental. When you cut this back on, you close everything out, you go back to Safari, Go to, you can go back to XDA, Honor Hub, and press Home. It would not load at all, and it will stay at the, the loading progress bar will stay at the same spot. You go to Google, press Direct TV Now, and try to load the TV packages. Same thing. The progress bar won't load any further than that. The same spot as the other web pages. And hold on. You go back. You go to swap processes of navigation. You turn that off. Everything else can stay on. Close everything. Safari is back. We're going to start it again with Google. Direct TV now. We're going to load the television packages. You can see everything loads. We go back to XDA. Honor Hub. Home. And the pages load. So that's it. Have fun.